I choose the lion? See, the lion may not be the biggest, that honor goes to the tiger, and I, I love tigers, the, the, the lone hunter, the, you know, the, the camouflage, the sneaking, the stealth. Tigers are fantastic creatures. I'm very much a cat person, and all of them I, I find to be intriguing at the worst, and amazing and legendary, you know, at the best. But I chose the lion very early on. <clears throat> uh, I latched onto it. You know, my first tattoo is of a, a rampant lion. Yeah, it's a tribal style. I pulled it out of a sword magazine, uh, the Noble Collection. Um, I believe it was on like a Charlemagne sword or something like that. And you know, it's it's because you know my my ancestry has used the lion. Now, you're thinking Northwestern Europe, there aren't so many lions. This is true. <laughs> um, but because of the horrible things that Christianity did, um, we went to places in the world where there were lions and had some experience and we saw the power of the lion. We saw the organization of, of the pride and it was a very good model for, you know, for nobility, really. And so it became part of the heraldry of Northwestern Europeans, specifically the, the Britons and to some extent the, uh, the Celts. Uh, <clears throat> it is a very, very powerful creature. And let me tell you just a couple of really cool things about it and why I identify with the lion will. In the lion culture, they are okay, they are social creatures, and much like humans are social creatures, but they're unique to a point where the the females actually go out and do most of the hunting. The men, the males, stay at their territory and protect the territory. This is uh, an amazing like division of labor. Um, not that the males shouldn't be going out and hunting, but more that if males evolved separately from females, primarily as a division of labor and for the safety of the group, then it makes sense that you would have defenders at the camp, right? And so the male lion stays and protects. <clears throat> and fends off invaders. Now, this is also good for, uh, you know, as an analogy for, for, for human relationships and whatnot, because then what you're saying is that not only do males and females each have a role, but the male is important as more than just a sperm donor. The male is important as part of the social construct. You know, he doesn't just go out and hunt and bring food home and leave the women to both nurse and protect. No, he stays in and protects and when the women are actively nursing, they're out hunting, bringing food home for the cubs and then the feast ensues. It's uh, a very unique thing and myself as very much a homebody, uh, this resonates well with me. Uh, I'm not the one that goes out stalking and hunting. I'm the one that likes to be at home doing my thing and then when things come in I deal with it. Um, on the other side though, lions are incredibly brutal. And you know, don't get me wrong, the males do hunt. I mean a hungry animal, you know, a hungry predator animal is going to hunt. But um, I lost my train of thought. Hunting. Yeah, I lost it. But anyway, it, it's just uh, quite fascinating to me. Lion culture mixed with, or in 
parallel with my own tendencies as a human being. You may find you resonate well with other animals. A, a lot of people tend to resonate well with wolves or dogs. I don't, mainly because dogs are, are inefficient fighters, they rely on pack dynamics. I don't. <laughs> um, you know, I'm social to the point where I can function in society, I can deal with others, that's where my thought was going. The brutality of lions. They will eat, they will cannibalize the young of another male. They are very, very selfish, which I am too. I'm not saying I'm going to eat your child. I might, but I'm probably not going to. I mean, I am an atheist and we're known for eating babies, but that's another story for another time. But, um, but it's this, it's, it, it really is this, this selfish pride of, look, this is my area and this is my pride and you're gonna have your young here? No. You go and raise your own we're going to raise our own. It's very much a keep to yourself, keep to your own business attitude. I like that. It's very much me. So uh, I apologize for the rambling because now I've forgotten where I was going on the other side of it. Um, but it's just, it's a very cool animal. I identify a lot with it. And it's something that you, it adds spice to life. You know, I, I don't believe in totems or anything like that. But to draw parallels from other parts of nature and draw inspiration is, I think, important. You know, metaphors and storytelling are always going to be important, regardless of your belief systems. And to find things that really do exist and to draw on them uh, for, for inspiration and strength is, is fantastic. Uh, and I will continue to draw upon the line. I remember now, speaking of... Uh, say dogs versus cats. The dog mentality, it's the, it's the pack dynamic mentality versus the lion being the homebody, uh, social but still not particularly mingly. Uh, and then you have the tiger, which I also enjoy quite a bit, um, being more the solitary type. And you know, I often waver between lion and tiger in my, uh, in my moods and my, my personality type and how I interact with others. Um, obviously I'm a bit more orange, like a, like a common tiger, um, whereas lions tend to be a little more golden. But um, that's neither here nor there. I mean, obviously the parallels are not perfect. But, you know, it's, it's even another reason for the long hair and the beard. It, it's part of just the the identity. It's how I. It's how I see myself. It's the stories that I tell myself. It's really part of where I draw my strength from. Uh, I. I just find them extremely powerful. And I urge you to look around you and find your inspiration, especially if you're struggling to find inspiration in something. I'm not telling you to go get an animal tattooed on your arm or your ass. I'm not going to go tell you that you need to go find an idol to worship or an icon to cling to. It, it's not necessary. I just find that it adds flavor to life. It, it's, a, it's a nice spicy flavor. And, uh, and it helps me refocus in on things. Just giving you a tip, perhaps. It will help you to focus in on things too. How is your personality versus this natural occurrence? Maybe it's not an animal. Who knows? Maybe you're like a tree. I don't know. I'll talk to you next time. Good journey.